Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, this is Larva's second match. Um, a part of Larva's special ability, as it were, uh, on the pre-existing rule set was he could have a second three-pound robot in with him at his choosing, and that had really a lot of strategical advantages. I don't want to go into it too much, but because it's also over with, for essentially. So, um... Joe was able to reach out to the builder of Katsune, which is an extremely powerful robot, which is in there with him. And <clears throat> uh, up in the pink corner is uh, Berserker, which is uh, pretty much a standard beater bar thing. So uh, let's get into it. OK, here we go. Again, sound, no announcer. Okay, so Katsuni comes out, spins up, gets his tail whipped around, and then something starts happening, and Katsune is dead in the water. Something happened at his ringside. Something happened between his transmitter and his receiver. It couldn't, it just didn't work out like the thing was broken. Um, so, in also the spirit of the rules, that gives a whole bunch of points in damage uh, to Berserker. Which is fortunate for Berserker because Berserker came out with a um, hampered drive system and it's not moving the way uh, a normal beater bar would. This is already crab walking from the get-go. I don't know what happened. It came in like that. So that being said, Larva and uh, Berserker need to go head-to-head. -head. And this is more of a true test of what was going on with our design. So... Joe's actually getting around. I mean, granted, he's going after something with a hampered drive, but he's still chasing it. He's chasing it on his little shuffler feet. He's getting there. This, uh, this, oh my God, Berserker is always uh, doing a, a good job in keeping their weapon towards Larva. And Larva's weapon is a little recessed, so it's not quite getting the engagement that maybe we would have liked a little weapon on weapon action there which larva rolled over and is now going the going back at him inverted larva's getting and trying to get a pin on him uh berserker gets another shot larva's kind of hanging out near katsune and larva gets another shot from berserker god announcers jobs are hard these are hard names. Okay, so Larva gets his unstick. He gets his weapon back running. He's got some good weapon durability and motion. So there's really not a whole lot of damage going on with um, Larva, but he's losing all of these exchanges with uh, Berserker. Berserker is able to maneuver around. A Larva's getting around the backside. Any weapon to weapon exchange seems just like Larva's losing. So, uh, but Larva's still hanging in there, holding up. All, all systems are go. The weapon's still spinning. The shuffles are still shuffling. And that's really a great testament. I mean, durability is immense in this game. If you don't have durability, you're not going to go anywhere. Believe me. So they're at it. That almost looks like a victory gyro or just trying to move gyro. But yes, that was the end of the match and it was a victory gyro because um, as a loophole robot entry, uh, you would need to knock out both halves to get a firm knockout. But with one robot not operating, that gives you um, like 50% damage to the robot. It was just immense and huge. And since Larva didn't do anything really against uh, Berserker, um, this one goes to Berserker. All right, this was an awesome test. This was in the bracket. So Joe got two fights with his robot and then out. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day and take care of yourselves. Bye.